Hey everyone, this is Ross, and this is a fig called Coldedam Blanca Negra, and it's supposed to put out two different colored fruits, a light fig and a dark fig on the same branch. Um, and it's related to the Coldedams, which means it has a really nice pulp to it, really nice texture, it's got great flavor. Um, I wanna do a nice little taste test for you guys. It actually put out a Breba for me, which I was surprised to see it's been a variety here that's been quite productive. It doesn't seem to really have the, the thickest branches, the strongest branches, but it still did pretty well. And I was surprised um, at actually how good it is. Um, it seems reasonably rain resistant, but nowhere near as rain resistant, it seems like, as the other cold Um You know, the other cold adams are really renowned, in my opinion. Well, just mo mostly in my opinion for their um, rain resistance, they're split resistance, they're good commercial fig. This seems a bit smaller and they all seem a bit smaller. It seems quite different than the Coldenoms in that the neck really isn't there. It doesn't have a similar shape. It's a very strange fig and I'm really shocked. I don't get it why this is a, a Coldenom to be honest with you, but whatever this is, it's quite good. I haven't seen the double colored figs yet. My fig comes from uh, Pete, New Jersey. I mean, I think his comes from Ponds. And I've seen some other people with the Ponds version of this, and they don't really think it seems all that great, or not that it doesn't seem all that great, but it's not, uh, it's not looking right. It doesn't look like the Coldenon Blanc and Negra that they thought it would. Maybe it just needs some time to mature. Maybe we have some weird branches that were propagated, and and uh, we've kind of lost the mutation. I know my buddy Pete is getting the multicolored fruits off of it, so um, I'm expecting this one to get the multicolored fruits at some point here. But let's cut this open and show you guys a very different pulp than what you're kind of used to with the other cold adams in terms of the color. And it's a bit strange, you know, let me, let me put this, this cold adam this is cold on Blanc and Negra. We'll put it right next to it. And you can see just how amber this is. I've, I've so far I've noticed that the cold on Blanc and Negra has been a, almost like a sugar fig and that's kind of it. It doesn't have much berry flavor, but it's very sweet. It's got a nice sweetness to it, complex sweetness to it. And it actually has um, the perfect texture that all the cold Adams have. So it's a really awesome, dense, jammy sugar fig it seems like um, and it doesn't seem to ripen all that late it doesn't seem to ripen all that late at all it's one of my, one of my earlier figs of the year it even put out a Brava I wouldn't even think this one potentially needs a head start it's really good but there's it's starting to ferment unfortunately and I'm getting that fermentation flavor just a little bit too much. Maybe we got some SWD with all the fermentation that's kind of happening here. I want to see if there's anything crawling around in here. Hmm. Doesn't look like it, but when I start to see SWD, we really need to pay attention because we're going to have to set out some traps and put out some things and keep the populations low. We have a black cherry tree in the corner of the yard that's huge and puts out tons of fruits every year and nothing really eats the fruits. So what ends up happening is all the cherries fall from the tree and they ferment and it's not good. So uh, it brings in all those SWD, all those fruit flies and we have all kinds of issues later in the season but I don't think we're there yet. I haven't seen any SWD just yet but this is a very good fig and I don't smell any fermentation. Maybe it was just in that half. Maybe it was just a small portion of it that was starting to ferment. It doesn't seem to hang, need to hang that long either. It kind of goes from unripe to perfectly ripe in a very short period of time. I would say maybe five, six days. Um, it has a nice color to it, nice visual appeal. I love that purple skin on there. Almost like a gray fig. It's kind of gray actually is what I think a lot of people would describe that as. It's kind of like a, you know, like a Grease de Saint Jean 
type color to it. A hated de argent teal that I have back there. So anyway, that was Col de Nom Blanc and Negra, guys. I just thought it was worth sharing because it really is a, a very tasty fig. And for other reasons, it seems to do pretty well here as well. Uh, so yeah, if you guys know somebody who is interested in growing figs or maybe uh, is growing figs, share these videos with them, guys. These are really informative, teaching you guys how to grow figs, also talking about the different varieties. Um, thanks ahead of time, and we'll talk to you all soon. See you for tomorrow's video, guys. Take care.